Japan for some all who want to pay my high respect to Mr. Simpson, director of some family academy school and honorable judges, teacher and all my beloved audience who are present here. A very good afternoon, well, my name is Sushita, I'm a student at some family academy school in the world ESL5. Today is such an exciting day to me to be on the stage with the second round of the storytelling competition. Well, my storytelling com my storytelling today is about the frog prince. Let me start now. Wanda was a beautiful young princess. This princess heard of every toy. It was a golden ball. She liked to throw it high in the air and catch it. One day, the princess went for a walk in the world. She stopped and played with her ball near the wall, but she threw it too high. It fell into the wall. It stick quickly. The princess cried and cried. Then she heard a voice said, why are you crying? The princess looked around. Then she saw an ugly frog set up the ball. I lost my golden ball. Ball, said the princess. Sir, I can bring up your ball, but what she give me? Me, said the frog. You may have anything you want, said the princess. You even have my ground. 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 No, I don't want your ground, said the said the frog. Said the frog. Said the frog. Promise to be my friend. Then I will pick up your golden ball. I promise, said the princess. The frog jumped it into the ball. Then he came up with a golden ball. He tossed it on the grass. Grass. The princess was so happy she go to pick up her ball and ran it away. Well, call the frog. Take me with you. You. The the princess didn't listen to the frog. She ran home and forgot all about the frog. The frog. One sunny day, the frog turned into the prince. The the prince. Then the princess was so surprised. The princess, the princess said, "Wow, you look so handsome, man." Man, the frog and the the, the prince and the princess were friends for many years. When they grew up, they were married, and the princess never forgot her own promise. The moral of this story is: we should never chop someone at the first time, and always keep on promise and happy power in it. Thank you for your listening.